Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's been so long since I've posted. I've just been very busy doing other things, but I do plan on posting uh, probably daily now. So um, I got a new series that we are starting today about how to make a soccer game in Roblox. It's a very basic soccer game. Uh, this should, this is what it's going to look like uh, when we are finished. So it's very simple, uh, but it's a great uh, base a great foundation for any soccer game I feel like any any traditional soccer game in Roblox so we can see we can gain possession of the ball uh, we can run around with it we can shoot it it'll stop rolling uh, we can also just run it into the goal. that's really really loud and probably should be turned down but uh, you can see we got a working game loop and a game state uh, it assigns the player to the correct team uh, at the start of each game and yeah so let's get started so let's uh, go to our Roblox studio and click new. We're just going to select a blank base plate. All right, so the first thing we need to do when making a soccer game is we need to make the environment. We need to make the field uh, and the goals, the ball, uh, get the starter character configured, uh, create the teams, etc. etc. So let's just Let's just dive in. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is create a field. Well, the first thing we want to do is save it to Roblox. So we're going to call this soccer game course. Course on, right. We're just making a simple soccer game in Roblox. Uh, this doesn't matter, but you know, want it to be available for the console. Uh, genre is going to be sports. Click save, give it a minute to save it, and then we will get started. So we are going to be using free assets in this course. We're just going to be using the marketplace. Uh, of course, you can create your field any way you want to. Uh, you could go out and purchase one. Uh, there's lots of lots of soccer fields out there. Um, but there's some pretty decent ones too on the marketplace. So let's take a look at it. We're just gonna search soccer field. Let's see how this mini one looks. Uh, not great. Nah, we won't go with that. I think I've used this one before. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty solid. The goals are good. They even got nets. And it even positioned it pretty good. Um, so, yeah, let's rename this to Field. Let's create a folder in our workspace. Call it environment. And let's drag the field in there. Let's find our spawn location and let's set it, or let's bring it up. And we want to set it right, not right in the middle because the ball is going to spawn there. So we don't want to spawn right on top of the ball if we were to join mid game. So we'll just put it a little bit uh, to the side. All right, uh, so we've got our goals created, but what we need to do is we need to create a trigger inside of the goals. Uh, this will be what activates the goal being scored whenever the ball touches these triggers. Uh, so let's go, let's ungroup our field. It'll make it a whole lot easier to select all this stuff. 
Um, I wish the names were better. It's just a bunch of parts, so that also makes it kind of hard to figure out what is what. So I'm going to zoom out and I'm also going to go ahead and create a folder uh, for our goals. Let's open this, open the environment folder back up and then let's just go through and find the goals. It's got to be one of these unions. No, no, no. It's one of it's these. Duh. Um, so let's select both of these and let's drag it, drag it to the goals. Um, so this will be, let's just call it red goal. Um, we actually, we're going to ungroup these, but we need to create folders to ungroup them into. So red goal, duplicate, rename, blue goal. Uh, and to rename something in Windows, you just press F2, uh, or you can just click on it. Uh, so we're gonna drag the red goal into red goal, model into blue goal, rename model. Well, now we don't need to rename it, so we're about to ungroup it. Okay, wonderful. Let's add a part to the red goal. And of course it's, let's also undo that. Um, well, we're gonna have to do it again. Whatever, add a part. It's named the same as all these other parts, so that kind of sucks but we should just be able to select it. Uh, let's rename it now Why we are thinking about it. We're gonna name it Trigger. Actually, no we're not. We're gonna first make a part so we can see which goal this is. So we're gonna color this. This is the red goal, right? So, um, We're just gonna call it ground because we're just gonna put it on the ground right here. We are going to scale it. Let's move it down just another hair. Alright, and we will change the brick color on this to really red. And we are going to anchor it. Gonna make it massless, that doesn't matter though. Uh, let's, let's turn can collide to off though. Really, we can turn all of this. We'll leave can query on. Um, yeah, so there's the ground. Let's duplicate this, put this in the blue goal folder. Now we can move it over to the other side where the blue goal is. And yeah, so it's just bear with me guys as we, as we get the game set up. This is the boring part, but I uh, will we get it knocked out first it'll make creating the game a whole lot easier um, so let's change this to really blue ground and then let's duplicate this let's bring it up let's uh, let's scale it So this is going to actually be the trigger I was talking about. Said so we want to uh, push it back just a little bit because it's going to, this is what's going to activate a goal being scored. 
And so I, I believe in soccer or football or whatever you want to call it, uh, a goal is scored whenever the whole ball crosses this line. So we don't want it up here because that ball is going to fire a, a goal being scored as soon as that ball touches this right here. And if it, it won't be across the whole line when it touches it. So we need to move it back to about where the ball will be uh, once it crosses that line completely. So I don't know. I'm just going to eyeball it. I don't even have a ball in here yet, so I'm not sure how big it is, but that should be close enough. Um, let's rename this to trigger and I got my caps lock on. Uh, transparency is going to be one. Uh, we also need to come down, leave can collide off, but turn can touch. Make sure can touch is on, make sure it's anchored. All right, that looks good. Now let's duplicate this and put it in the red goal folder. Press F to find it, it's right there. Duh. Um, drag it to the other side where the red goal is. Might have to turn transparency back on or back off, whatever. Nah, I think that'll be good. All right, so we've got our goals made. Now we need to add a ball. So let's minimize this environment and let's come back to our toolbox and search soccer ball. And you can pick whichever one you want, or you could just create a part and make it a sphere and that could be your ball. Uh, we're just going to keep it simple. It's, it's a classic soccer ball. So we are going <laughs> get it nice and centered close enough. So we've got our soccer ball added. Uh, now we need to create two teams. Oops, red team. All right, we'll just do red and blue. And uh, we need to create a few values for each one of these. So let's actually, let's actually delete the blue team right now. And we will add, we need a bool value. And the name of this is going to be has possession. Uh, we also need a object value. We may or may not need this, so actually scratch that. We'll add this later if we need it. Uh, I was going to add a, an, an other team value, uh, but I don't think we, we, we probably don't need that. That's, um, but one thing we do need, uh, now there, there is like a built-in team.score, but it's deprecated. And I'm not sure um, how well it works or how reliable it is. So we're going to cre create our own team score value. Uh, so add an int value. And we're going to name this team score. I would name it score, but that's the name of the built-in score. So it will mess things up if you name it the same thing. So we are going to name it team score. And so now we're just going to duplicate our red team rename it to blue and we've got our we have got our teams made 